is here. Uh, good afternoon. What do you Hi. have for us? Hi, Matthew. Thanks very much. We're going to start with oil prices this hour. Thank you. Uh, yes, uh, oil prices are starting to rise once again. That's after a big cut in production. The world's two biggest producers, Saudi Arabia and Russia, they have both announced some huge production cuts earlier today. Well, the news was enough to send the price of Brent crude 2% higher. Just a while ago, it was trading around $75 a barrel. Now, first up today, it was Saudi Arabia that announced it would cut production by 1 million barrels a day from August. Then Russia said it would cut production by half a million barrels a day from August as well. Well, those cuts mean that global supplies will be reduced by 1.5%. Uh, let's speak now to Victor Catona, who is head of crude analysis at a commodity data analytics company Kepler. Uh, thank you for being with us. And talk to me, if you will, first of all, about the significance of these cuts. Those announced by Saudi Arabia are not new, although we know they are trying to keep the price higher. Yeah, indeed, they are not new. And in a sense, Saudi Arabia was forced to do this because the initial announcement, Saudi Arabia's announcement to cut 1 million barrels per day of production in July, came after the OPEC Plus meeting. In fact, it was the only real result of that meeting. But prices didn't really re react. If you compare prices in the beginning of June and right now, they're actually lower uh, than they used to be. So in fact, uh, Saudi Arabia was compelled to extend the production cut because it effectively had no reaction from the market. And as today's uh, developments actually show us, uh, there wasn't a, a reaction even today. Uh, effectively, prices went up by less than a dollar and most of it has fizzled, fizzled out already. So really, there's no actual uh, reaction in the markets, even though this is very significant. One million barrels per day, that's roughly 10 percent of Saudi Arabian production. That is very sizable. Yes, I wanted to ask you that. Give me a sense of you know, what this equates to. I say they're one and a half percent of global oil supplies. It doesn't sound like a lot. And yet it has the power to raise prices, doesn't it? It absolutely should. Uh, again, it's really a sign of the times that we live in, because if it weren't happening in 2023, the market reaction would be just completely different. But right now, oil prices are mainly driven by macroeconomic developments. Whatever happens with the US, whatever happens with China, or even with, with Europe, whatever ma macroeconomic data, job postings, or, or PMI indexes come out of uh, those, those regions are much more important for the future development of oil prices than actual supply and demand of oil. It's very, very counterintuitive. It's very odd to think about it this way even, but it's the, the actual reality that, that we are facing. Saudi Arabia's production cut will entail a very tight Asian market in the, both July and August 2023, but the market has just shrugged it off. Yes, and I wanted to ask you that, you know, join the dots for me, if you will, between the big players here, Saudi Arabia, Russia and China. Uh, they wield huge power over what we will pay for oil. Absolutely. I would say that Russia and Saudi Arabia are in one camp and China is in the other. China is interested to buy the cheapest oil possible, wherever it could get, uh, get that oil from, be it from Iran, Russia, Venezuela, or any other country for that matter. Whilst for Saudi Arabia and for Russia, the really important thing is the price of oil. Because effectively, th those two countries, like most OPEC plus countries for that matter, rely on the price of oil to balance their budget. So the higher the price, the, more, the better balance the budgets that they have, and the less budget defi deficits that they run in 2023. So they will do the utmost to have the highest prices available. And as we saw today, a very coordinated effort from Saudi Arabia and Russia announcing at uh, the same day that both will be cutting production in August. Regrettably for them, it didn't really work out. But alas, one, one could always try. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see the implications of this right around the world, won't it? Uh, Victor, thank you. Victor Katona there joining me uh, with the latest on those oil price moves.